Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js how to series, we're going to be learning how to make an HTTP POST request using Node.js. In a previous video, we looked at how to make an HTTP GET request. Now in this video, we're going to be making a POST request. Now to begin, I'm just going to create our file, our Node.js file, we'll say touch POST request .js. So we have post request.js and we can then open up this project in Visual Studio Code and start coding. So now that our project is up in Visual Studio Code, let's get to work. So I'm just going to open this file and the first thing we're going to do is bring in our HTTP model. So require HTTP. Now that we have this, now do note if you need to make HTTPS request, there is also an HTTPS model in Node.js. So just keep that in mind if you want to make an HTTPS request. That is, if you want to call a URL that uses the HTTPS protocol. But for now, let's just stick with HTTP. So we have the HTTP model and we can get to work. Now, one thing that is common with every POST request is a payload. Most of the time when you're using a POST request, you actually want to send data over to the server. So let's uh, let's define our data. Just going to say const payload. Now HTTP is a text-based protocol, so we need to send our payload as a text. For that, I'm going to be using a string literal, and I'm just going to send a JSON object inside. This is going to be for a cat item, a fictitious cat item. Let me just rename this to cat item. Okay, this cat item. We have a product property, which I'm going to set to, my fingers are so clicky this morning. I'm going to set to leather jacket. And I'm going to set a color property and say our jacket is brown. Then we we'll set the price to something like um, $50. Do not everything has to be in a string. So this is a JSON object. Everything has to be in double quotes. So we have our data has to be sent as a string. The next thing we're going to do is define some options for our post request. Now for the post request to be correctly received by the server, we need to be able to communicate with, to the server. And the HTTP module requires some options to do that. We need to tell it the host. We need to tell it the headers we're sending the endpoint we're going to yada 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 stuff like that so let's do that let's um define a post options object so post options and the first thing we want to do is define the host name now do not this has to be a json object this is going into the function unlike this that is going along with the request so this is going to be an actual object so we have the host name and for this demonstration i'm going to be using something called the postman echo server now an echo server is a very common thing it's a server that basically just spits back the request that you sent so it echoes back the request that you sent it's a very good server when it comes to testing client requests so postman has a service that provides this kind of server and it's called the postman echo server so we're going to be using that server to test this request so we don't have to build out our own server to check whether we're doing this right so i'm just going to say postman dash echo that is the host name of the postman server postman dash echo dot com so um the next thing we're going to define is the method what is the request method and that will be post because that's what we came here for now that we have the method defined next is the url part for the echo server for the postman echo server you need to call the slash post endpoint that is the endpoint that receives post requests and echoes them back and lastly i'm just going to define an header there's an headers property you can define as many headers as you want for your post request but for now the only thing i'm going to be telling the server is that i'm sending this as a json object that's the payload i'm sending is a json object so i'm going to set the content type to application slash json Applications like JSON, just trying to make sure I spelled that right. Yeah, so you need to tell the server this so that it can process this string as a JSON object and not as an actual string. 
so uh yeah we have our post options we have the options defined for our post request now let us construct our request so let's say const post request as the request itself for that we are going to use the http module we definitely know that but we're going to be calling the request method there's a request method on the http module we're going to call that method and the first thing we're going to pass to this request method is our options say post options that's good let me pull this to the side so that we have more room okay so post options and we're just going to get the re response we're just going to get the response we're going to get the response back from the server in this callback and yeah we have the response and the callback argument and for now we're just going to display some of the stuff we got back from the server at first we're going to display our status what was the status of the request i was going to say uh give us the response code give us the response code and um, that should be oh sorry yeah dollar sign that'll be response dot status code status code so response to this code that gives us the http response code for the request that we're making next let us just get the response that's the body of the response that's what we actually add echoed back as is an echo as this is an echo server so i'm going to say response body just going to leave that on this line because this response is a stream this response is a stream so if i want it i, I want to um echo it out to the standard out i want to print it in the console so this response is a stream and just as we learned on how to pipe streams in a previous video in this series we can take our response and pipe it to process dot standard out pass it to standard output or rather pipe it standard output this is a readable stream so you can read from it and write it into standard output and i'm just going to save that so now that we have all this these are post requests defined how do we fire it to fire our post request we can go down here and say post request dot end end good at end and we actually send the payload which, are, which is our cat item we can then send the payload that's the data we want to send in the request the cat item this also with this returns a post object that you can listen on there are some events you can listen on this post object for example if you want to catch errors you can say post request and listen on or not construct sorry you can listen on the error going to allow you catch errors but um for now i'm just going to leave this out i'm not trying to do any error handling here can read up on that so let's save this and let's give it a spin let us fire it in our console so here in our console I'm going to say node post request now if there are no errors this should work it entered to fire it it's waiting for a response and boom response code 200 awesome that's good news and response body we have all this so many stuff that was returned back but this is our actual payload returning this data property you see um the leather jacket color brown price 50 and that's that so in this video you've been able to see how to make an http post request using the http core module of node.js and we've been able to test it with an echo server that simply echoes back our result if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and for more how-to videos on how to do stuff with node.js subscribe to the channel thanks for watching